What up, YouTubers? Bastum1977 here. I am going to show you how to paint your own silhouette decoys. First, you gotta make them, but since I didn't make these, someone just gave them to me because they don't hunt anymore. Um, I didn't really have the time to cut out all those silhouette decoys. Um, you can look up on YouTube how to make your own silhouette decoys. It's mostly just a jigsaw and plywood. Quarter inch plywood, you know, if you want them thicker, they're going to be heavier than, but quarter inch plywood will work. And you just draw out a silhouette on a piece of plywood and cut it out with a jigsaw. And you can make a bunch. Then you paint them up. So since these are were given to me, somebody just gave me six, six dozen uh, silhouette de decoys. Um, see, they don't look that great. They're kind of, they don't, they're not painted well, um, you know, they don't look that great. Um, these are the ones I've painted. Same type of decoy, just, you know, boom. I painted them up with the bodies, the chest, the patch here, the, the head, um, just like that. So they look a little bit better. And when you put these silhouettes in the field, yes, they're flat, and people are like, oh, it's not a hug, it's not a word, it's not a full decoy, blah, blah, blah. Um, they work because when you put them in all different positions, you know, like this, that, straight, this way, when the geese are flying in, they look like they're moving their feet and then doing all their goose things. But anyway, so I'm going to show you how to paint them up. All right, so what you want is... I buy these from Walmart. This is burnt umber. Get them at Walmart for 50 cents or so. It's got the little apple on it. It's matte finish. Um, you want them, you want them flat or matte finish because if you don't, you don't want semi gloss. You don't want gloss. You don't want satin because everything will shine in the field. And you don't want that. Your hunt will be miserable then. But this is the ones you want. That's that's basically it's acrylic, so it dries fast and it sets up. Once it's dry, it's waterproof. Same thing with all the other colors. So what I use is black, brown, white, and khaki. This is the khaki. That's for the chest here. Um, but that's the that's what I use. It's that yellowish color. Um, so I'm going to show you how to paint up the bodies. So here you go. You just what I like to do. I don't use brushes. I just use rags. Get a bunch of rags, cut them up, and I'll just different colors. I just use different rags. So. Brown and black. I like to put brown and black together and just kind of mix them. And you just want to put them all over. All over. Make sure it's an equal amount. Get them all over the decoy with these gray ones. I don't know why the guy painted them gray, but I mean, I guess you know, late season geese look great when you actually kill one. They're kind of grayish brown, but not real brown. But you know, whatever. Um, but this will work same way. Just want to color the, the body. You know, do both sides. Doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to cover up the old, old body, obviously. Better looking the decoy looks, the better it's going to be in the field for you. And it'll last longer. So. Do the same for the other body, other side. Cover up the body. Um, get more black, black and brown. Son of a bitch! All right, sorry guys, didn't mean to drop you. There you go. All right. Where the hell is my deep? Oh, there it is. All right. So. So yeah, I don't. I mean, I would love to go spend. You know, bunch of. 
money on freaking decoys. I mean, I, I do have decoys. I have AVNX decoys, and I have some full bodies, and I have a bunch of shells and everything. But I didn't spend a lot of money on that. Those AVNX were, it was a gift. These redhead full bodies, I did spend money on them. But when I got them from Bass Pro Shops, I don't know if you've ever seen those. They're the full body type or the shells. They look yellow to me. So I had to repaint the bodies. And that kind of sucks when you spend, you know, 60, 70 bucks on half a dozen decoys. And you got to repaint them anyways. You shouldn't have to do that. I had to do the same thing with the Avon X's. I'll show you a little thing on this. So I had to repaint this Avon X decoy because it was shiny. Even the front side was really, really shiny. So I had to paint all these. And what it is about Avon X. But I asked, I called them. And they said, sorry, it's going to take, what did they say, 8 to 12 weeks to get your goose back. No, sorry, I'll just paint. So, anyways, that's a whole different video. So, see the difference? It's gray and black. Um, let me get some more here. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to do too much things at once here. don't have any more. Well, whatever. I'm just going to have to go with brown, I guess. Um, let's see. Brown will work just the same. You can just mix it up with the other side. You just wanna... Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to cover up the body. Decoys, whoever painted them before just didn't really care. Maybe they're hunting private land. You know, if you hunt private land, you get away with crappy looking decoys. Because the geese don't care, they just want to be on the X. So, me, myself, I'm on public land all the time. I don't ever hunt private. I just can't. Um, for some reason, I don't know what it is about the farmers out here in Colorado. They always want money. They just don't, they don't trust people. I, I don't, you know, I don't blame them. I mean, it is what it is. If I had a bunch of land and some hunters were trying to get on it, A, you have to worry about if they're going to trash your land. B, you have to worry about if they're just going to, again, trash your land. You know, that's the biggest thing. That's why farmers don't have trust for, you know, just outsiders anymore. Just because, you know, if they get some money out of it, they can make some money off their land. And pretty, pretty soon they're going to start leasing it to hunters. And that's expensive. I can't afford that. So that's why I hunt public. So... Anyways, wish I had more black, <laughs> but let's see. Oh, I got a little bit. It's still in there. Only reason I need black is because uh, I need it for my head. So, where's my, get my head, get my head rag here, which is, you know, whatever. And you just grab some black and you paint over the, the head. Don't worry about the patch. I'm like I said. I'm just cleaning it up to make it look better than it did. Paint that up. Get the other side. Paint that up. There we go. So. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to look like a head in the right right color. There you go. And then with the patch, I'll just use my finger, get some white, pour it on the decoy itself. Get your finger kinda <laughs> kinda clean, you know. Um, and just go like that for the, the 
white patch. Don't worry if you mess up. It's not a big deal. Just kind of grab the patch. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's got to be white, right? That's what that's what these look like. They got those white patches. Don't need a lot. It spreads around pretty good. Said I just use my finger. You know it's not all white. I'm shocked you used to have gray looking patches just because they've been in the mud. And then, God dang it! Sorry guys. All right, see me? All right, here. We're doing a patch on the body. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just trying to make it look like that time. Then you use the rest, put it on the head, get the patch on the head. It doesn't have to be perfect. Once you have, you know, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12, 15 dozen out there, it's not going to matter. Um, but, I don't know, man. I mean, I probably won't use all these. So, with these, including my full bodies and shells, I have 14 dozen to the list. I'm not going to use them all out by myself. If you guys live in Colorado, I live in Aurora, whatever, I don't care. Um, call me, text me, I don't care. Um, I'm on I'm on Instagram, I'm, uh, I'm Bass Thumb. So, just, you know, text me. If you want to go out and do something, let me know. You know, I got a bunch of decoys to carry out in the field, and it'll be a good time. Not guaranteeing you're going to kill anything, but we will definitely have a good time. Um, you know, because you can't guarantee hunting. It wouldn't be called hunting if it was called, you know, if you're killing every time you went out, it'd be called killing. Let's go killing. You know, but I have a good time hunting. Most of the time I'm by myself because no one else wants to come out with me because it's too much work. But, like I said, I got a bunch of decoys. We could all just have a good time. Anyways, I'm going to show you how to paint the chest here. <clears throat> you get this khaki, and you get your khaki rag. Whether probably didn't. Oh yeah, it's all still khaki rag. <laughs> Sometimes I like to switch them up. Um, and you just kind of want to dab it with your rag. Go up with it right next to the head. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, you just want to get that little patch on there. Turn around to the other side. It's more khaki. Dab it around the head, neck. I mean, that neck. Don't do it around the head, but do it around the neck. <laughs> um, you know, and then. Just dab it in with your rag. Because like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can get details if you want, but I don't think the geese care just as long as it has the right, right shades and all that. I don't know if they're colorblind or what, but I've never had a problem. I know these silhouettes work. A lot of people are actually selling their full bodies and their shells and just going with these silhouettes. I heard they're pretty sweet to work with. I've never, this would be my first year hunting around silhouettes but i'm not just going to use silhouettes i'm going to use full bodies and shells and all that stuff too so and then there you go that's basically it so here's the other one that i painted before 
You know, they're not going to all look identical. You know, but got silhouettes out there. And there you go. And then, um, hold on, I'll be right back. So, I also have this one as well, full body where the head actually moves around. You can put bolts or whatever in there so it can move around, um, you know. Um, <laughs> it's supposed to stand up, <laughs> you know. Um, tighten that down later but anyways so you get the idea but you know it's full body basically so I count these as full bodies even though they're silhouettes and they're flat since they stand up I count them as full bodies so you do that you can make make your spread look bigger than they are so here's another one I painted that one's pretty good this one I didn't paint the body I didn't have enough paint but I don't think it matters much so there you go Thanks for your time. Oh, thanks for your time, YouTubers. Um, subscribe me, hit that thumbs up button. Um, if you like me, leave a comment. Subscribe. I'll show you more videos. I'll actually show you how to make your own shell decoys if you want. Um, I'll just grab a set really quick. Um, We'll show you how to make your own sleeper shell decoys or whatever else. Um, this is a deep rock water bottle that I cut in half. Um, and I'll show you how to paint it. Same thing. Make a sleeper out of it. For those of you that hunt a lot of ice, sleepers are the key. You put it around the open water, around the edges. You put like five dozen sleepers and then all, you know, a bunch of floaters and whatever else. I've killed a lot of geese doing this. So this is another video I'll show you. Thanks for your time. Hit that like button. Hit that thumbs down.